think the day you stop trying to improve yourself as a, as a manager or a coach, I think uh, you know that's, that's the day you stand still. Gary Brabin believes in an education. So much so, he left his job in 2012 to get his pro license badges before returning to Southport, a little older, but a lot wiser. You know, we try and improve things. I don't think we've changed anything too drastically. I'm happy with my record so far since I've been in management anyway at, at every club I've been at. I want to improve as a manager and, you know, hopefully I can, you know, make a little bit of history with Southport as well. Philosophical and self-taught, Brabin went to Spain to learn from some of the world's best, like Atletico Madrid's Diego Simeone. It was through um, contacts I've got. Um, you know, it was it was arranged for me to go over to Spain. I stayed in Madrid for a month, and it was it was, it was a real good experience. Um, not just watching Atletico Madrid, but watching grassroots football. And but, you know, I haven't ripped up everything and started again. You know, I've still got my own beliefs, and it's just nice to to go around and, and learn different things off, off, off some of the top managers and coaches in, in football. He was a real professional, well-organised coach, and, you know, I'm delighted, to, and I'm not surprised either with the success he's had in the last couple of years, and, you know, um, obviously I'm delighted, you know, they, they were very helpful with me, and uh, I'm, I'm delighted for them with the success they've had. Carlsby Island for the gaffer, he made, made me captain when he came in, which obviously I've, I've grabbed with both hands. We've looked a good outfit, we've looked hard to beat. Most games I go out and I, I fancy us against anybody on his day. And, you know, he puts that confidence into each and every one of us and, and it's, it's, it's made a big difference. To look at the manager, everyone thinks he's a big, hard, hard bruiser. He, he probably is, but he doesn't come across that way at all. He's a really nice, genuine man who, who, who's got the players at heart. Um, he treats people as he likes to be treated um, and he knows the game. A former Southport player himself, Brabin had a brief spell as manager in 2008. Now he leads the Yellows into the third round against Steve McLaren's Derby County. It's going to be a difficult game. They're a really good side, um, good footballing team, yeah, good manager in charge, and you know they're, they're up there in the top of the championship. And you know we're expecting a difficult game. It'll be a completely different, um, different game to what most of the lads are used to. So it'll be a less physical game, I'd imagine, against a, obviously a lot better individually. But no, like I said, we just have to you never know on the day. We, we're going to be well up for it. Southport's fans are called the Sandgrounders, and nearly 3,000 will be travelling to Derby knowing their studious boss will have done his homework. I'm a traditionalist and, you know, it's a competition we've certainly took serious and, and we've had our rewards for, for doing that, I think. And, you know, now we're in with the, with the big boys, it's, it's great to pit our wits against, you know, the top side. It's really exciting. Um, it's an old cliche about the FA Cup and how special it is and how good it is to be in the third round, but it's a fact. It's, it puts the club back on the map, it puts the town back on the map. Could you imagine Southport upset against Derby and in the next round, it'd be, it'd be amazing. I think it's a real special occasion playing in the FA Cup and I'm delighted that we're still in it in January.